Welcome to my channel, Historical Studies. Before diving into the mysteries of history there is a small reminder, if you are really interested in this kind of information do not hesitate to, subscribe to my channel and hit on the bell icon if you don't want to miss out on our new videos. What is an implosion? Implosion is the process of destroying an object by causing it to collapse in on itself. Where explosion expands, implosion contracts. The Titan's submergible implosion, which occurred in a split second, was produced by the extremely high hydrostatic pressure of the surrounding water. There are around 5,600 pounds per square inch of pressure where the Titanic is submerged. That is over 400 times more pressure than what humans feel on the surface. The submersible is experiencing the force on its surface because of the water pressure because it is so deep in the ocean. When this force becomes larger than the force hull, can withstand the vessel implodes violently. But why did this implosion happen to Titan's submersible? The materials used in current technologies are steel, titanium, and aluminum. These keep other submarines from being damaged by these. However, the Titan's design was experimental. The majority of it was made of carbon fibers, which had the advantage of being lighter than steel or titanium. However, there is a lack of knowledge regarding the characteristics of carbon fibers for deep sea uses, but they may unexpectedly crack and break. Ocean Gate Titan The Titan is a Cyclops-class manned submersible, not a submarine. But how do the two differ from one another? A submersible is launched from a mother vessel or home vessel, which is the primary difference between a submersible and a submarine. Typically, they are launched from a raft or platform that is placed in the ocean and then descend using four electric thrusters to achieve speeds of about three knots. However, a submarine may submerge itself without the use of any external equipment and surface all through the process of buoyancy. These are the basic system that makes up the submersible. Number 1. The mother ship made the polar prince, which is actually an icebreaker. Number 2. The ramp that raises the vessel to a particular department. Number 3. The Ocean Gate Titan itself. Let's look at its specification. The vessel is only 22 feet, or 6.7 meters, long despite being able to travel to vast depths. Its width is approximately 9.2 feet or 2.8 meters. Additionally, it is 8.3 feet or 2.5 meters in height. Comparing this to an average human will help us visualize how small it is. Let's use a compact SUV as a comparison to better appreciate this object size. It's interesting that it can transport five people, including a pilot and four passengers who must sit on the floor and have limited space. Think about spending eight hours sitting like this. The toilet on this submersible is present. However, it is separated from the rest of the capsule by a privacy curtain at the front of the sub. The interior of the vessel is pretty simple. Let's move outside the submersible. You will probably never see a deep diving submarine more basic than this one. To understand the engineering involved. The four electric thrusters help with steering the vessel. The two inner space rockets are positioned horizontally. And two more are located on both sides of the vessel and are placed in a vertical position. The electronics equipment is at the back and most likely includes an oxygen supply and a navigation system. It is an unmanned part of the vessel that also had the ability to even recycle some of the carbon dioxide and pump back the regenerated 50% oxygen into the cabin. A titanium entryway can be found. One of the two monitors allows users to view the outside from the vessel's camera. Four lights, which are necessary for deep water diving, are located in the front. The submersible can descend to a depth of 4,000 meters at a speed of three or four knots. The basic functions. Step number one. Mothership, which is the polar print, anchors at a particular spot where the Titanic shipwreck is located. Step number two. Together with the Titan submersible, the ramp gently leaves the mothership. Step number three. It will gradually sink to a specific depth. Step number four. The small Titan submersible will disengage from the assigned platform. Step number five. 
Titan will slowly descend at a speed of 3 to 4 knots. Step number 6. The joysticks will be used by the pilot to control the vessel. This is the procedure. Moving the joystick controller forward will propel the vessel forward. The vessel will reverse with the aid of the electric thrusters if the controller is pushed back. The pilot only needs to twist the controller to make a left or right turn. The down and up controller is located on the left side of the joystick. The submersible did not even reach the wreckage of the Titanic but suffered an implosion because of the weak carbon fiber hull. And the debris is located just 1,600 feet from the Titanic and consisted of five parts. That brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for being to the end of the video don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us what you think about this video below in the comment section.